Welcome to this week's Klein May Realty Showcase. I'm Julie Cadican at the Harrisonburg office. If there are any properties that you're interested in, please give one of our offices a call. Thanks to our sponsors and enjoy the show. Well, hi, Summer. Thanks so much for having me and Klein May back again. Thanks for coming out, Paul. I appreciate it. Absolutely. So who do we have with us today? This is Alfredo and she's like a three to four month old kitten that has been in our care for a while. And now, as you can see, she has grown <laughs> and <laughs> she active. is, yeah, she's active and she's ready for adoption. So we're excited. We actually have an Empty the Shelters adoption event coming up October okay. 1st through 15th. So all of our uh, cats and kittens are gonna have reduced or fee waived adoptions during that time. Uh, so we are hoping that Miss Alfredo will find her forever home. How easy is it to kind of find out what the best type of home is for a kitten? Yeah, so we do a little bit of matchmaking, meaning we have all of our adopters fill out a survey which tells us a little bit about your household, what it is you're looking for in a pet, activity, um, wise and what else it needs to get along with and then we also go through and spend some time with our cats and we get lots of information like Miss Alfredo was in a foster home so we know how she does around other cats and kids and things like that and then we try to kind of match up and connect the two. So for Alfredo what would be a, a good home setting for her? She would love to go to a home with another animal. Um, she's good with cats, she's good with dogs, and she is good with kids. She definitely is going to want uh, something to play with and entertain her. So I think um, an active household who's willing to do some cuddles but also some dedicated playtime would be perfect for her. So it's been really great to meet Alfredo, but I understand too that there's a dog you have for us to meet today. Yes, today we're going to meet Joe and he is a middle-aged mixed breed dog, lots of energy, very affectionate. He's super excited to meet you. Wonderful. I'm looking forward to that. Let's meet Joe. Summer, this is Joe that we talked about inside. <laughs> and as you can see, yeah. he's a young guy. He is very energetic. Yeah. Uh, looking for an active household, definitely. He makes a really good hiking or walking partner. <laughs> he is working. He actually does know some commands um, once he gets his excitement out. Yeah. He's got a really good temperament. <laughs> he does, yeah. He was surrendered when his family couldn't keep him any longer. So okay. he does have some life skills and experience being in the household. So if somebody wanted to adopt uh, Joe or Alfredo, how would they go about doing that? Yeah, so they can go to our website, rhspca.org, and they can find their profiles and click on the adopt button, um, and they'll follow the prompts, or they can come in and they can complete it in person as well. Well, Joe, it's been great to meet you and play <laughs> with you a little bit. So I know you're going to find a home really soon with some, uh, some active family that take you on lots of hikes. Well, Summer, thanks so much for yes, having me again. It's been coming. a pleasure we to meet you. It. And I really enjoyed meeting Alfredo and Joe, two wonderful pets. I know we're going to make someone very happy very soon, I hope. Yeah, we hope to see you guys again soon.
Life's next steps begin with a mortgage from DuPont Community Credit Union. Whether you're looking to purchase or refinance a home, DCCU has fixed and adjustable rate mortgage options with mortgage advisors ready to help find the best option for your family. And now with our new 5-5 adjustable rate mortgage, you can receive the benefits of an adjustable rate loan with an initial rate for the first five years. Take the next step in your home buying journey today at mydccu.com.
Hi, I'm Carl Weisecker, Principal Broker at Klein May Realty. Thank you for joining me for another Q&A with Klein May. Our question today is right out of the headlines, and that is what's going on with mortgage rates? We talk about this every so often, and as you all know, mortgage rates have been high compared to maybe the 10 or 15 years before that. Right now, today, as of the day we're taping this, the average mortgage rate for a 30-year conventional loan in the United States is 7.18%, which for a lot of folks whose memory and experience with real estate is just the last decade or decade and a half. That sounds like a very, very high number, but in truth, the government's been keeping track of this since the early 1970s, so for a little more than 50 years, and the average rate over that entire time is 7.7%. So if you look at a chart, we can see that in the 1970s and 80s and even 90s up until 2000, Typically, rates were higher than that 7.7 .7 average, sometimes significantly higher, and it's just been in the last 15, 20 years or so that rates have gone down pretty dramatically. So what's going to happen in the next year? The experts are saying that we've got a couple encouraging things on the horizon. Typically, mortgage rates track somewhat closely with inflation. Inflation has been falling for the past several months here in our country, and hopefully mortgage rates will follow that soon. Right now, that hasn't happened because of some things going on in the bond market, but a lot of the experts are saying that rates should begin a slow decline uh, within the next few months and by the end of the year, maybe be down into the middle or lower sixes and by the end of next year, 2024, uh, be down into the middle fives. That number, 5.5%, seems to be the number at which buyers and sellers will be ready to jump back into the market. Now, a lot of sellers are hesitant to sell because they've got a very, very good rate right now and they don't want to buy a new home with a rate that's, say, 7%. Our coffee today is a new one for us. It's called Cameron's, and this is called their Jamaican blend, which I was kind of excited about, but then I read the fine print, uh, and it's only 5% Jamaican. Really tasty, though. Really smooth. When I hear Jamaican, I, I generally think of something very, very strong, and it's not that, but it's a nice, smooth, good morning cup of coffee. If you've got a favorite coffee you'd like to see me try here, or certainly if you have a real estate question, please send that by email to questions at kleinmay.com. And as always, we've got a link right below that you can click on and check out the newest listings in our market that have hit in the last two weeks. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.
our kids the best of everything, the best nutrition, the best education, and the best place to grow up, even the air they breathe. Lennox strives to provide the best air quality for your family's home free of indoor air pollutants. At Landis Heating and Air Conditioning, they can install a Lennox customized comfort system in your home. Let Landis sweat the details so you can relax in comfort. Call my friends at Landis Heating and Air Conditioning today. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Hey Susan, thanks for letting us come out. Hey Julie, I'm glad you brought yourself and your girls out here. It's good to see you out of the Klein May office. <laughs> yes, so is this what you do after hours? This is what I do when I have a few spare minutes. I love to take my horses out on the mountain trails and ride and I love to talk about horses. So I'm really happy that you and your girls have come out here. And what are your names? Veronica. Veronica? And Leah. And Leah, awesome. Mm -hmm. This is Sundance and he is a Tennessee Walker mix and this color is called Palomino and he is 22 years old and this is Cairo. Hi Cairo. Cairo is a Tennessee Walker and hi. he is 19. Would you all like to brush them? Oh, Have yeah. you ever brushed a horse before? No. Nope. No. Okay well let me tell you a little bit about the brushes I have here. They mostly enjoy being brushed and especially when they shed in the spring they get a winter coat like right about now their, their coat starts to get kind of thick and as it gets thick of course it's going to hold more dirt and dust so their skin gets a little itchy so it feels really good to them to get it cleaned off and brushed and then in the spring when they shed their winter coat they love to be brushed because it gets all that extra coat off as the weather's getting warm it's a lot of fur so this is a curry comb this one is one you want to be very gentle when you brush the horses. This is good to rake off mud. So when you use this one, you always want to go the direction of the, the fur. See this? And across the bony areas, you know, you want to go pretty lightly. I have two different brushes that have bristles. They look pretty similar. This one's a little wider and has a hand strap. These are what we call like a finishing brush, and these are nice to get the dust off of the horses. And you can see it picks up a lot of this loose hair. See that? Mm -hmm. So when you brush them again, you wanna kind of go with the coat of the horse. And you'll see it picks up a lot of hair. Would you like to try to brush? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're getting that dust off. You're doing a good job. You can be kind of aggressive with that brush because it's so soft. You can really put some power behind it so you won't hurt him with that and you can easily go over his legs and things like that. And the same thing with this brush, you can be kind of aggressive here and just really push on it with your muscles. And that way, see, it kind of is a little itchy scratchy for him, it feels good. So, now that you've learned a little bit about horses and now you know how to groom and brush and get them ready to ride, would you like to go for a little ride? Yes. Sure. Yay. Yes, okay. Let's do it. Well, thanks so much for letting us come out here and learn about your horses and meet them. It was so exciting. Did you girls enjoy your time? Yeah. 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 Thank you, Julie, for coming, and thank you, girls, for coming. It's been a pleasure. Absolutely. We'll have to do it again. Anytime.
Uh, what do you call cheese that's not yours? <laughs> Nacho cheese. <laughs> I should probably not volunteer. Decline me. Wow, okay, sorry. I'll start. <laughs> hey, in my defense, I'm old and my memory's weak. <laughs> For the bloopers, absolutely. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed our show. Thanks again to our sponsors and see you next week.